What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Super stoked for today. We got some new wheels in, or two, I guess, two replacement wheels in. These are just a temporary setup, just to match the two that we already had that we got with the car. Two of The two fronts were both cracked, so, and they're pretty cheap. I think they're about 250 a piece. 200 to 250 each. I figured that's just the best option right now. We got two used tires yesterday. Just a nice temporary setup to at least be able to drive the car around on. We do have to drive it out to the inspection place. Not today, but in a week or so, we gotta bring it out to inspection. I've got a question a few times. How much have we spent on the STI? How much did I buy the car for? And then all the repairs as well. Granted, the car's not 100% done yet. We do pretty much have every part to get it complete and ran through inspection, except for one fender that is in the mail right now getting shipped here. And then of course paint work after that so i do want to run through real quick what i paid for the car how much all of the repairs cost and kind of show you guys the condition of the car just so you guys have a rough idea of how much something off of auction costs so this here is what is known now as crusty it's a 2007 sti limited edition number eight out of 800 was wrecked in the front had some undercarriage damage so we had to replace two front fenders a front bumper, we replaced a U-frame or U-brace, a sway bar end link, two inner tie rods, a control arm, two wheels, and two tires. I did go ahead and sell the hood and the trunk off of this car if you're wondering why those are missing as well. And I sold the front of my intercooler kit because we're going, we're just changing all those parts up and figured I'd just sell them now. Kind of recoup some money for other parts that we do have to buy for the car. All right, getting started off with the purchase of the car. So if you're gonna purchase vehicle on auction. I personally prefer to use IAA, insurance auto auctions is what it's called. There are registration fees, which by the way, you can save $50 off of registration fees using my discount code Devin2022. So you have to register for an account online and then you can go ahead and bid on cars provided they are available to the public. This car was some of the cars in the past that I've bought such as Bobby's STI that we had to use a broker for. My truck is public. I think that's all I've bought online. So three cars on auction. I paid $7,375 for the car. My budget, my limit that I wanted to pay was $7,500. So it came just under that. So $7,375 for the car. There were some late fees and whatnot associated with that because I had to store the car out there for a while just to free up some space here in the shop. I feel like that was a pretty good deal, especially being unlimited. There wasn't all that much damage. Let's run through what we gotta buy. One fender used, $50. New aftermarket replacement from bumper, OEM style, but just an aftermarket, 200 bucks there. The other fender was $170. I bought two lower control arms, $200 for both sides. I only used the one, so let's just say $100 there. U-frame was $100. Both inner tie rods, 50 bucks. The sway bar end link was 20. Now, of course, we do have to do some paint work on the car. I am gonna respray the whole thing because I like perfect cars, to be honest. Even though it is gonna be a drag car, I still want it mint. Uh, full respray on that car is probably gonna cost $2,000 in material but just to paint the parts that we had to replace because of the wreck. So just to paint the, the two fenders and the bumper, that'd probably be like 200 bucks in materials. And then the two wheels that I bought, how much were those damn things? The two wheels were $440, and then I bought two used tires here locally in Spokane, the same exact tires that I needed for 20 bucks. Very, very good deal. So I'll have the total on the screen. Hopefully that answers some of your guys' questions. Now when you buy a car on auction, you really don't know the extent of the damage. Um, I feel like all the cars I've bought, I've been pretty lucky on. The truck was super easy. Bobby's car was a little bit more work, but I knew it was gonna need some framework. And then of course this car was the easiest so far. We've had it for about three days now and it's up and running and driving. And we could literally just put the panels on, spray it and use it as a daily driver if we wanted to. So yeah, that is that. Pretty cheap, if you ask me, for a limited STI, especially in today's used car market. I would say this car with a rebuilt title as it sits right now, like if we put those panels on and put it on the market, we could probably sell it for like eight, 17, 18K being unlimited. So we could have made a ton of money on it. But yeah, that's the breakdown. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Once again, discount code Devin2022 will save you 50 bucks off of IAA registration fees first link down in the description box below. So today we are going to be swapping the wheels back on this car that came with the car. Two of them were cracked. We got the two replacements. 
the wheels that we pulled out the Evo 8, we need to get back on that car. I am gonna check the balance on him because they seemed a little bit sus last time I drove the Evo 8. So let's check the balance on him, get him cleaned up, get him back on that car, and then get the reps. What are those? Addo hand, they're like AG reps back on this thing. And then I'll probably go ahead and bolt some body panels on this car just to kind of have it a little bit more complete. We got this guy sitting how she should. Her wheels are back on, everything is torqued down. Now we gotta go ahead and get some wheels on this car. You guys probably noticed, intercooler is gone off the front end. We sold the whole front mount kit. I do have the top mount chilling up there. We gotta get that connected just so this car is drivable because come hopefully maybe tomorrow, but probably Monday, Bobby's cars are going on the lift. Not both of them at once, but yeah. One of them is going on the lift till it's fixed, and then the other one's going on the lift till it's fixed. Bobby is my new mailman. All right, I gotta go watch my dad race a go-kart. I, I wish I could come. Wheels and tires are back on crusty. She looks mighty fine. I don't mind these wheels. Not a bad look at all. Today's Saturday. My goal by Monday when we start working on Bobby's car is to have this Evo 10 pretty much all finished up, which means we have a ton of paint work to get done. I want to get everything prepped out today and hopefully spray tomorrow. So we have to repaint the front bumper, rear bumper, we have to respray the wing. I dropped the wing. Well, I didn't drop it, it fell. And right up on top here, she got all messed up. So this wing is gonna have to be resprayed. Bobby just came and dropped off the rear bumper aprons or spats. What's the official name? Comment below, spats or aprons, I call them both. And then we have a nice front lip to spray. I think that's called the VR style or VT style. That's what it looks like. It's a nice big boy. I love this lip, but the only downside is it looks ridiculous if you don't paint match it. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get that. Let me brighten it up a little bit. We're gonna have to go ahead and get that paint matched as well. And it'll flow very, very nicely. I didn't end up grabbing skirts. I was gonna do VARA skirts, but they're so damn expensive. And the wait time was like three months, two or three months on the, on the skirts, which I don't wanna wait that long for skirts, so. Yeah, we have a bunch of prep work to get done. So I guess let's pull the bumpers off this car, get those prepped out, get these new polyurethane parts prepped out, which I'll have. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and link the, the front lip and the rear spats down in the description box below because they both fit good and they're both cheap. I think the lip is 200, the spots are like 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand the bumpers and the wing with 800 grit. We gotta get all that orange peel knocked down and of course get the runs out. I'm gonna try my best to not burn through the clear. We already did in a few little areas, but if we can keep that to a minimum, that would be much better. So 800 grit on the DA, this guy here. I'll be running an interface pad, P800. 
perfect. So the three parts that needed a respray due to damage slash runs, those are all prepped out, ready to go using 800 grit and a gray microfi, not a microfi, uh, gray scotch right pad. So all that stuff is scuffed up. You can see there I burned through on the wing, of course, where those really deep scratches were. We gotta get all those sanded out. So we're gonna need base on each part. So we will need a little bit of color on each of those panels, but let's go ahead and move on to prepping out the, the front lip and our rear spats, which are in this box here. What I'm gonna be doing is something a little bit more aggressive. I'm gonna start off with a, is this a 220? Yeah. Start off with a 220, get them sanded out nice and good. There's always like this little film of oil. I don't know if it actually is oil or not. I like to sand that off with a 220. So I'm gonna hit 220 and then I'll bump it to 400 just so it's not super deep scratches. And then I'm gonna go through with some actual degreaser and a red scotch brite pad like that guy there and finish them off with that. This guy here and the spats, they're both gonna get epoxy primered first before we go ahead and do the base coat just to give it that extra little bit of adhesion and of course we're going to be using adhesion promoter on both pieces as well so let's go to get those things prepped out All right, so all of the poly panels are finished up. Let me show you guys what you want but versus what you don't want. So the whole panel used to be like this, right? 
pretty much like a wax layer on it. I don't really care about the backside, but the whole panel is like that. And you need to get it to where when you put water on it, it doesn't start separating like there is a wax on it. Because if the water just falls off, like it's waxed or ceramic coated or greased, then your paint's gonna do the same thing. I always like to get everything fully cleaned out the night before or the day before I paint just to give it overnight to dry. So the two bumpers and the wing, I'm also gonna go ahead and clean up. You're, you guys already know some Dawn dish soap with a scotch Brite pad and just get everything spotless. Of course, tomorrow we do still wax and grease and use a tack cloth on the parts, but this is gonna get all of like the sanding dust and all that BS off of there. So let's go ahead and get these things cleaned up and we'll be ready for paint tomorrow. Well friends, everything is prepped out and ready for some paint tomorrow. Super excited to finally be done with this paint project on Stevo. I like our names these days. Stevo, Sus, Krusty, we got all sorts of names. Gary Berry, Bloob, pretty dope names. Here everything is, rear spots, front lip, bumper, bumper, wing, all ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace out my friends. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning when we inflate our booth and get some pieces painted.